Hello and welcome to Caravanery. Today's vlog is going to be all about how to plan a trip. Uh, as you can see, it's a beautiful sunny sort of spring stroke summer's day. The winter is finally over. So let's plan some trips, guys. The good thing about having a touring caravan is the fact that you can literally pack up and go wherever you want, almost whenever you want, whether depending, work, etc, etc, and family commitments. But the downside is we've got a touring caravan, so where do we go? Um, and that's kind of what we're looking at in today's vlog, looking at how you can book a trip, how you can go through the uh, almost you know, an end in possibilities of where you could travel to and how you could get there. Uh, and um, that's what we're looking at today. There are two elements to how we plan um, a trip. One is kind of the low tech version and one is kind of the high tech version. The low tech version would mean clearly doing your research. If you're planning on going um, going on a trip where you want the site to be the main thing, you know, on some occasions you go away for a weekend and you literally just want to sit outside the caravan, it's a beautiful sunny day or beautiful sunny weekend forecast and you think, okay, let's just go somewhere where, where there's a nice site, nice facilities, doesn't matter where as long as it's within an hour or two hours drive. In that case, would recommend looking at something like this. The AA Caravan and Camping Guide. This is the 2016 version, but a tremendous resource in that you can look at um, campsites by rating, whether they're dog friendly. Um, they could, they just even got a reference in there to its sister book, which is the AA Good Pub Guide. We've also got a copy of that, but unfortunately it's kept in the van uh, to be broken out in um, in the case of bad weather or just have a read and see what's around whenever we travel. But it, it tends to come back before the house, as does this. But a fantastic resource and a good investment for you um, to try and find the range of campsites and you can also look in your region in your area within an hour's drive or whatever you wanted to but a really really good resource and we found some fantastic campsites we wouldn't have found had it not been for this book so highly recommended Next up, the Caravan and Motorhome Club magazine. It's, it's very, very useful in that there's often a lot of good content in here that relates to events and activities that are going on across the UK. And that's kind of the second way of, of planning a trip. Go in somewhere because there's something you want to see or do. It might be you want to go to a, a, a music festival, a theme park, a food festival, whatever it might be. And this magazine, I think that that's the reason why we were members of the Caravan and Motorhome Club. We were also members um, of the Caravan Club prior to that and I think we found we found both to be excellent really good resources um, I love the fact that they've updated their website and, and their app and and um, we've booked a few of our overseas sites um, through through this as well uh, through their website so um, and we're going to cover that in the future vlog as, as planning a trip to France and and how we're going to navigate our way from from north to south um, so that'll be coming in a future vlog but yeah definitely a very very good resource Next up, we've got the Caravan Magazines, Practical Caravan and Caravan Magazine. Really, really good resources and just a good read generally. I mean, if you're into caravanning and it's something that you're interested in, it's your hobby, then, um, then you know, what better magazine to buy anyway? But really good editorial content, uh, always featuring different activities, always recommending sort of short tours and long tours. Very, very, very good. And then where to stay linked to those as well. So a really, really good resource that we like to use when we're planning a trip. In all honesty, I quite enjoy enjoy reading them when I'm in the caravan but then I always worry about the fact that I'm sat in the awning in the caravan reading a caravan magazine and I may as well have a t-shirt with the cliche written, uh, written across my chest but um, yeah really really good and I generally tend to take a stock of them when we go away just to just have a read in the awning on a nice day you know sipping a cup of tea um, yeah good stuff <laughs> 